This is to help you identify the different text structures when you're reading nonfiction texts. The first text structure we'll look at is sequence. The icon that we will use to help you identify sequence is an arrow with the numbers one, two, three in order, like in a sequence. The text for sequence tells things in the order in which they happen. For example, first we completed the do now, then the teacher showed us this video, and now we are taking notes. Signal words for things in a sequence type text structure are first, then, and now, or things with dates, or things like in a timeline, etc. The next type of text structure is <clears throat> Compare and contrast. Things in a compare and contrast text tell how things are different and how they are the same. You can use a Venn diagram if you are confused about whether it's a, com a compare and contrast text to place things in the Venn diagram. Things that are different will go on the outside of the Venn diagram, and these signal words could be different apart, however, or whereas and things that are the same will go in the middle part of the Venn diagram and signal words for this will be both similar and like, etc. The next type of text structure that we'll talk about is cause and effect. Text structures in this type of text tell why something happened and the result. The icon that can help you remember this is the big explosion with an arrow. In the arrow is the cause and in the explosion is the effect. For example, state, district, and campus exams are coming up soon and that is the cause. And the effect is teachers are reviewing and reteaching with their students. Signal words for this type of text structure are <clears throat> as a result since, because, and if. The next type of text structure that we're going to look at is problem and solution. This text talks about a problem and how it was solved. The icon that we'll use to remember this is a question mark pointing to a light bulb that indicates that we had a bright idea. After we had a question, we re realized what the answer was. For example, the student was absent and had a challenge because she didn't know what she missed. She asked the teacher for the work to complete so she could solve her problem. Signal words can be challenge, dilemma, or problem, and solve, resolution, or corrected. The next type of text structure is a description. <clears throat> this type of text gives details about a person, place, or thing. For example, tigers have reddish orange coats with prominent black stripes, white bellies, and white spots on their ears. Like a human fingerprint, no two tigers have the same exact markings. Tigers are powerful hunters with sharp teeth, strong jaws, and agile bodies. They are the largest terrestrial mammal whose diet consists entirely of meat. The tiger's closest relative is the lion. As you can see in this type of text, it is giving details about tigers. So in the middle, we would put a tiger, and in the bullets around the outside or the bubbles around the outside, you would put the various details that is descri are describing the tiger. It is only giving details about the tiger. It's not giving a sequence of events that's happening. It's not giving a problem or solution, a cause and effect, or giving two things being compared against the tiger. <clears throat> so you might ask, what am I supposed to do with all this? Well, we use these type of text structures to determine when we're reading what the author's purpose is for writing the text when we're analyzing them. What it 
they contribute to the development of the text. Well, what do contribute, development, and analyze mean? Contribute means add to, development means build up or construct, and analyze means to inspect the individual parts of something to draw conclusions. So what that means is when you're using these text structures, you're going to inspect the individual components that were added by the author when they were building or constructing the text so that you can draw conclusions about it and increase your understanding of it. So if they were using details about something to make their text, they really just wanted to give you information. And that's how you use these text structures. Hope this can be helpful for you. Have a great day.